गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज शिवांगी एंड दिस इज सिंग वे गाइज हाउ मेनी टाइम्स दिस हैज हैपन टू यू दैट यू हैव बीन टू एन इंटरव्यू एंड सडनली द इंटरव्यूर हैज आस्ट यू अ क्वेश्चन टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड यू हैव नो आइडिया यू गॉट कन्फ्यूज यू डोंट नो वॉट ऑल थिंग्स यू नीड टू इंक्लूड इन इन योर इंट्रोडक्शन देर आर सो मेनी सो मेनी ऑफर्स हु बिलीव दैट वेन एवर बी आस्ट वेन एवर बी बीन आस्ट ए सिंपल क्वेश्चन वी डोंट get ideas what to what all we need to include into this introduction so in this video we are going to talk about what all things you need to include in your introduction and how are you supposed to prepare yourself for an interview so let's watch this video and please if you want to know all the hacks how can you crack an interview you have to watch this video till the end okay so let's so let's start with the introduction what all things you need to include or enclose in your introduction guys whenever you are going to meet any person who is superior to you who is going to interview you you have to uh, keep certain things in mind that whenever you are going there first of all you need to knock the door you are not supposed to enter the door with you like that only you need to knock the door and then uh, you need to ask them can i have seat and once uh, they have given you permission to sit or once you have uh, you have taken your seat then you are supposed to greet them Uh, make sure if you are going in the morning hours, then you can say good morning, and if you are going after the noon, then you can say good afternoon. And if you are going late in the evening or in the evening, make sure you have to say good evening. Don't ever use good night while introducing yourself or while initiating the conversation, because good night is a uh, is a uh, is is only be used once you are done with the conversation, once you are. Uh, you know closing your conversation so it cannot be used uh, in be- in the beginning so this thing you need to keep in mind so this was all about how you are supposed uh, how you enter the room and how you greet them now let's talk about a question which is frequently asked tell me about yourself and there are so many of us uh, who who always get confused because we are not prepared uh, or we are not you know uh, we have not practiced how are we going to introduce your uh, ourselves in front of any other person so that is why we get confused we get numb we get blank and uh, therefore our interview goes into way so when you are going for an interview make sure you do a practice before going there you uh, can write your introduction you can uh, you know revise it again and again so that you should not get confused at that time because that is a job interview or that is a interview which will decide whether you are eligible or not for that job i'm not saying ki if you are not recommended in that interview or if you are not selected by them so that means your life ends there it's nothing like that these are phases but we should be prepared for any interview if you are going there so uh, when they uh, ask you to tell uh, about yourself then these all things you need to include in your introduction and they are first of all you need to start with your name uh, you can say my name is or i am and please don't use myself because whenever you use myself that sounds very inaccurate or that is considered as a wrong statement to pass on so you can either say my name is or i am and after that you can move to your location from where are you you can say i am from Himachal Pradesh, or I am from Punjab, or if uh, the place where you are going for an interview, or the place is very far from your hometown, then you can say I am coming from Himachal Pradesh. So this can uh, you can say it like this, and after that you are supposed to tell them about your uh, qualification, what all things you have done in your uh, education. So you have to start from the latest one. that if i would say that if i have to say that i have done mba so you can say that i have uh, completed my M- masters in business administration from so and so college and before that i have done a uh, bachelor's in computers application from so and so college so this has to be your uh, uh, in this way you have to uh, tell them about your education and qualification and once your education and uh, qualification thing is done then you can move uh, towards your experience that i have been working from past so many years and i was working in which sector you can mention that and now once you have uh, told them about your name about your place 
from where you belong to and now uh, you have all, uh, uh, also told them about your education and experience now you can tell them about your uh, hobbies what do you like to do so uh, as far as hobbies are concerned try to be very specific about them don't include all the activities into your hobby because if you will include more number of activities then the possibility is that they may ask you they may cross question you regarding those and in that case you may get stuck so try to be very specific about your hobbies and uh, if you want to include your family information you can include that in your introduction as well you can tell them about your family that how many members are there in your family who all are there in your family this is all about introduction now there are some more questions that are uh, that can be asked to you during an interview and i believe that i should share with you so that whenever you will go for any interview you can prepare yourself beforehand they can ask you about the company uh, the, the next question can be what do you know about the company so for that you need to uh, research before going for an interview because whenever you have got a call or whenever you have received a call regarding an interview and they might you are always informed about the company that which company you are going to your uh, in which company you are going for an interview so what is your task uh, for this that you have to explore about the company what all they are doing uh, what are the kind of products they are manufacturing uh, is there any uh, achievement they have achieved in past a few months so whatever uh, is there uh, and uh, you know that everything is available online so you can find out about that and you can tell them about this in their second question that yes i have explored in, on the internet and i uh, came across about your achievements that you have made in so and so field so you can include enclose all these information all such information in your this uh, question and after this they can uh, ask you about what are your strength now you have to tell them what are you good at you cannot tell uh, and uh, some people would take this question as i am good at uh, making friends yeah i am good at shopping don't don't tell them all this because they are not interested about that they want to know that what are your strengths and how your strengths are beneficial to them how they can get benefit out of your strength so you can include uh, like i am a very uh, good team player i believe that uh, we can achieve anything when we work together you can say that i am very goal oriented so you can add these kind of adjectives into your strengths and the other question can be they can also ask you about what are your weaknesses now again here you cannot say that i am very lazy i am very lethargic this is a weakness i am fed up of you cannot you can you cannot answer to this question like that you, here you can say that i was very bad at time management but in past few years uh, while working i have learned how to manage my time in an effective way so this way you can uh, you know tell them and they will also come uh, come to know about you that you are working on yourself that you are trying to uh, make your weaknesses your strength so this should be your answer for this question after that they may ask you is there anything you want to ask to us you want to ask us and most of the uh, applicants what does they do they generally uh, get so excited about this they would ask them about what post they are going to get or what salary they are going to get so guys please don't ask anything about salary or anything related to your job because if you will ask about them they will feel because till now they have not uh, you know told the uh, told you that you are selected or not they are just assessing you so you cannot ask all these questions so make sure whenever you have been asked to uh, uh, whenever you have been given this opportunity that you uh, they want you to, uh, to ask them any question don't ask them just say it was nice to meet you and anything related to company you can ask but don't ask about your profile or don't ask about what salary you going to get and this is a time where you are not going to negotiate about your salary because salary negotiations can be done at later stage but not in this interview in this first round of your interview now let's move uh, let's move on and talk about certain things that you need to uh, remember before going for an interview that what kind of dress or what kind of uh, you know outfit you are supposed to wear because i have uh, taken so many interviews in my life i've seen that there are so many girls who would wear some you know casual clothes some tacky clothes like 
they would come in some rug jeans crop tops off shoulders that look very trashy or there would be some guys who would uh, there were some guys who used to come in some rug jeans some uh, round uh, neck t-shirts and these are not allowed or these are not a uh, code of conduct for your interview guys whenever you're going for an interview mind it don't wear some trashy clothes because they give a bad impression about you you look very informal when you go like this try to be uh, try to uh, wear your formals guys can wear proper shirt and trouser with uh, polish shoes and girls can wear some if they are going some Indian uh, formal uh, outfit or some Indo Western formal outfit. Don't wear such clothes which you used to wear while going for an outing. This is an interview, and you are, your your uh, outer uh, look represent or give an give a hint about yourself that how mature you are. So this was all about clothing. And uh, one more thing, guys and girls, don't uh, do over makeup. There are some people who would apply so much makeup on their face and go for interview as if some a plastic doll or plastic man is sitting in front of them. That doesn't look nice. Try to be, uh, try to look very subtle. You are not going for an audition for some modeling. You are going for a job interview. And the other thing is that uh, whenever you are going for an interview, try to carry your resume copy. Try to carry your passport size photo uh, photographs. try to carry your academic credentials with you because they may ask for them and and uh, don't wear some accessories like bangles rings or some neck pieces don't wear them while going for an interview so this was all about your costume about your accessories about your uh, about certain type of questions this is all i felt i should talk to you about these uh, things and Guys these were some tips i wanted to share with you uh, which you should consider while going for an interview if you still have any query in your head or if you still have faced any question any type of question that i have not uh, addressed in my video you can tell me or so that we can uh, you know include them in an, uh, in our upcoming video and if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe it so that whenever we come up with any new content you will be informed about that and if you like the content then don't forget to give a big thumbs up and that was all about today's video so if you feel like sharing it with your friends and family do it so thank you and let's meet on next friday with a new content thank you bye bye take care